Hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I am doing a countdown to the holidays with some of my very favorite desserts. Recently, I posted a picture of this beautiful blueberry tort on Facebook, and oh my goodness, so many people wanted the recipe. So today, let's get cooking, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this blueberry tort. Start with two large eggs that you've allowed to come to room temperature. Add in just a little bit more than half a cup of granulated sugar. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And the key ingredients coming up show you in just a second so the zest of one lemon and I've already zested most of it so I'll just show you how I do it and just gather the zest and add that to your mixture And we'll turn the mixer on low. Really doesn't have to be at a high speed. And once those ingredients are mixed, we're going to add our butter. So you're going to add about a fourth a stick of softened butter. butter. And to soften the butter, I generally use my microwave, although you can just let it sit out and come to room temperature. So now we're going to add this to the wet mixture. And it has a light brown color to it, which you'll see in just a minute. Next, add one teaspoon of cinnamon. I used a cup of Anna's OO Italian flour and a cup of organic Greek yogurt. You don't have to use Greek yogurt. You could also use half and half or marscapone. Um, so you do have some options for this. Now you want to add your dry goods and then the yogurt a third at a time. So you're going to be doing this process three times. And some people ask, well, why um, Italian OO flour? It is so fine and just wonderful for um, baked goods. You'll also need to add in about an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder to your flour mixture. So we're going to continue to add and alternate the flour and the yogurt until everything's in the mixer and you'll have to raise the speed a little bit to get the texture that you need. So I wanted to tell you where I found this recipe. Um, I follow YouTuber Annalisa J and she has just this great Italian cook and very creative and she did a tort with apple slices so I reached out to her and I said hey what do you think about blueberries and she said try it so I did alter the recipe just a little bit I didn't put lemon zest in or lemon juice in with the blueberries because it makes them a little bit too tart so I just used fresh organic blueberries, which you'll see. So when you're mixing this, you definitely want to scoop everything off the sides and mix it up. But you see this beautiful light tan color. That's what you're looking for. So we are almost ready to put this in our prepared tort pan, or you can use a spring form pan and go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. 
All right, let's put this tort together. So you're going to need a prepared tort pan or a spring form pan. And if you use a spring form, you can actually line it with parchment paper, which makes it really easy to remove. I've got um, my blueberries, of course my cake batter, the tort batter, and some confectioner sugar and a little bit of cinnamon. I buttered the tort pan and um, it's ready for the batter. So the first time I made this I was a little bit um, alarmed I guess at the batter because it's thick and you know as you can see it's not going to really fill the pan it doesn't go up halfway but that's how a tort is supposed to look. So we're going to spread this out and, and try to spread it out evenly. And then we get to decorate. And if you watch Annalisa J's um, video on the apple pie, the Italian apple pie, or the tort, um, you'll see she gets so creative with her apple slices. Blueberries is a little bit... Um, simpler to do. I like to, that's a trick my mom taught me, just to slam it down and let it settle so you can just lift up your pan and let it drop. And now we're just going to sprinkle our blueberries and I do want to give you this tip. When you're laying out the blueberries just try to avoid the edge of the pan. Um, I went all the way to the edge on this new tort pan and it got a little bit too hot for the blueberries and they got mushy. So I want you to avoid that. So leave yourself an edge. Our next step is to sprinkle the blueberries with confectioner's sugar. And you're gonna give them a great dusting. Ooh, almost got myself, didn't I? After you're finished with this, you'll go ahead and place the tort in the oven for 45 minutes. And I just do the toothpick test to make sure that it's done. Um, you can sprinkle some cinnamon on top as well. And you're ready to place this in the oven.